Life is like a stage show. And on that stage are all your thoughts and feelings and emotions and memories and everything that you can see, hear, touch, taste and smell. And this show is changing all the time from moment to moment. And there's a part of you that can step back and watch that show. Zoom in and take in the details, zoom out and take in the big picture. Shine a spotlight on one part of the show to really illuminate what's happening there, or bring up the lights on the whole stage show all at once. And this part of you is what I like to call the observing self or the noticing self. And no matter what shows up on that stage, no matter how the show changes from moment to moment, this observing self part of you is always there, always available. So let's suppose you're out with a bunch of mates having a lovely meal at one of your favorite restaurants. And to begin with, your attention is all focused on your friends and the food, engaging in the conversation, enjoying the meal. But then suddenly you hear this loud, annoying voice from a guy at the table behind you. And he's yakking on about something in this loud voice that really gets your goat. Suddenly the spotlight shifts and all your attention is on this guy and what he's saying. And you're so irritated by the sound of his voice and the stuff that he's saying. And you're getting more and more wound up with everything that comes out of his mouth. So what's happened in the meantime, while all your attention is on this guy, your friends and this lovely meal have just faded into darkness. But what happens if you swing that spotlight back onto what matters most to you in this moment? Having a good time with your friends, having a laugh, sharing stories, enjoying the food. So the greater our ability to notice where our spotlight is shining and to redirect it to the part of the stage show that we really want to illuminate, that matters most in this moment, the greater our ability to transform our experience of life.